Yo, what up, what up, what up, and welcome back to Pinoid News. Man, listen, um, in case y'all haven't seen, Joe Rogan is back on the YouTubes, which is great for creators like me in order to be able to have content to a bitch about dummies. You know what I'm saying? Um, this uh, Today, yesterday, yesterday, he had uh, James Lindsay on. And I'll be honest with you, I'm beginning to really hate guys like James Lindsay. Um, and the reason why I'm beginning to really hate guys like James Lindsay is because they don't fucking understand the basic premise of how the world works. They really do think that there's some conspiracy being plotted out to destroy this country. And they, this couldn't be farther from the truth. The truth is, is that the people in power have different goals than you. And we're not a nation. This is something that y'all need to pay attention to. We are not a nation of human beings, right? What we are is a fucking state. This is an empire on this continent. Because somebody in California and somebody in West Virginia sharing the same government and having a compromise means that one of them is getting fucked. I guess you can probably figure out who. This is the reality of things. And this is something that we need to start really paying attention to and we don't really understand. But I wanted to, you know what I mean, react to James Lindsay on fucking this YouTube thing because it's it's kind of an important thing in the end of the day. So let's get to it. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night, all day. I'm good, Joe. Your American mask, I'm already sure. We both, uh, we didn't even coordinate, but we're both wearing American flags. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... Yo, this guy, this, this fucking guy, right? Real shit. What does it mean to be an American? What, 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 what is this? Like, yo, here's, here's the real bitch, right? He has this conspiracy that, like, his government, right, who is literally ran by people who have been in office since, like, Reagan was there. Right. <laughs> he, has, he has this idea that, like, literally, he's an American and they think they're Americans too. <laughs> yo, yo, he's so dumb, bro. Yo, James Lindsay is the biggest dummy who's ever been a dummy. Right. Like, yo, this guy is dumb. Like, he's just dumb. Like, he doesn't understand. Like, yo, when you're a patriot and you're supporting a group of people, right, you're supporting a government. This is the bitch who's like, I'm an American. Right. <laughs> yo, right, yo, hold up, bro. Yo. It's that kind of, it's, it's that time, right? It's yeah. time to start saying, you know what, I'm an American. And Look at him. Look at that dumb look on his face. Right, his dad bod grill American. Like, yo, they don't, they don't want to accept the fact that, like, their premises of life, right, their basic premises of who they are is fucking fundamentally wrong, right? Like, they support the Constitution that supports this fucking state that fucks them every day and fucks over the people around them. <laughs> They're so dumb. They're so fucking dumb. They don't get it. They don't get the fact that they're fucking themselves. I'm an American, you dad bod grill American motherfucking macaroni and cheese eating fuck. Like, I swear to God, this dude. That's cool. Before you say uh, that, I mean, if you don't, we're, we're on the way to saying I'm Chinese. <laughs> yeah. All right, now listen, all right. I'm not going to knock Joe for this. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to knock Joe for this. I'm just not. Okay. Like, because Joe Rogan, I'll be real, like, we should all applaud Joe for just having all these different people on and having all these voices. Because there's a lot of really good ones that came out of him. Um, like, there was that guy with the, the fucking the mouth thing where he talked about, like, how we're supposed to be chewing 30% of the day. You know what I mean? And, like, you know, how we're, our jaws aren't big enough and all these type of things. And that's fucking great. We should really, you know what I mean, applaud Joe for bringing us these really good information. Some chat and some bad dumb shit. You know what I mean? But... But in general, just having the opportunity to have these conversations is a great, and I applaud Joe for, you know I mean, doing this shit. But let's let's address the Chinese thing, okay? Look, the Chinese fucking people are looking for yield, right? Um, they're going to discuss the immigration thing, but I'm going to talk about the farm thing for a minute, right? Because I know all y'all are going to bring that nonsense up, right? The idea of, like, you know, them buying the fucking farmland, they're just looking for yield. Just real estate that'll give them yield. They bought half the real estate in fucking Canada. Again, literally just looking for yield. It's a tax shelter for their fucking money. They wanted the fuck out of China because China's going to collapse. 
next 10 years, China will fucking collapse completely. They're having, they've had no children. Their birth rate's like 0.6 kids per fucking woman. They overcounted on their last census, not this one here, they just did before that by 110 million people. So that means there's not 1.4 billion Chinese. It's probably closer to like 900 million. Keeping it honest, that's an honest estimate, right? We don't know how many fucking Chinese there are. I know the cost of their labor has gone up 30 fold in the past 10 years. We don't know. They're, they're going to collapse. And everybody knows it. And that's why they're running out of their fucking country like, you know what I mean, like ants fleeing a fucking colony that's on fire. That's really what's, that's what's going on at the moment. And they're, they're, scared, they're going over the border in the south, you know, in particular, like whoever to fucking escape. They're like, I, it'll be better me going to go pick fucking fruit in America than it would be to stay in China. That's what that is. You know what I mean? And like, let's, I just want to have a real actual conversation about that instead of this nonsense, like we're going to fucking be taking over the Chinese. Stop being scared. No, they're not. Their Navy has a thousand boats and none of them can go a thousand more, a thousand fucking miles from fucking uh, the coast. By the way, they're 6,000 miles away. Yeah. Yeah. They have no transport ships. (laughs) They have no nuclear capable fucking uh, ships. They have like one aircraft carrier and that aircraft carrier is a clone of an aircraft carrier that used to be a casino that they bought from the fucking Russians and it keeps catching fire. They are not a threat to America. Y'all need to stop. If we literally just blocked the straits of Malacca and just leave them to the fuck alone, they would fucking just completely collapse into fucking eating each other inside of like six months. They are not a threat in any fucking way at all. They want to be a regional power where they live. And I don't really even see an issue with that. And you go, what about the Japanese and the Koreans and the Taiwanese and our chips? What about our Funko Pops? I don't care. I hope you die. You say these words again, I hope you die. Okay? Legit. Fuck the Japanese. Fuck the Koreans. Fuck the Taiwanese. Well, let's keep rocking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, how's your Mandarin? Yeah. Might be a good time to learn it as they, they're all sneaking in across the border. That's one of the more disturbing things. When I talked to Brett Weinstein, he was talking about how many uh, Chinese military-aged men are sneaking across the border. And you want to you wanna look at it the best way possible. You say, well, it's probably a bunch of people that are looking for work, and it's probably a bunch of people that are, you know, there's not as many Chinese women, and they're trying, looking for a girlfriend or something. And yeah. why do they have military haircuts? Well, they're probably, you know, it's just like a young man thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've heard more specifically. I can't vet it, so I can't prove it. And so, uh, like... There's the grain of salt up front, but I have I've heard that even Chinese special forces, if I was a special forces of a hostile country, I'd try to sneak across and do infiltration. So I've heard that there might be even, you know, hundreds or thousands of those. I want you all to pay attention to this. All right. This will let you know why this guy's a dummy. All right. Real shit. Like, look at that dumb look on his face. Okay. He's dumb. All right. This guy's a fucking dummy. If I was, listen, stop. Stop doing that. I want every one of you, every time you think about that, right, to go like, well, if I had to, they're not you. All right? They are not you. They don't think like you. Other people don't think like you. Stop assuming other human beings are like you. They're not. They don't have the same goals, same, like, basic premises. They don't have the same culture. They don't have the same reality. They're nothing like you. Stop. That is half the fucking problem in this fucking planet is everybody assumes everybody's smart because they're smart. All right. The average human being in this fucking world is dumb. Okay. They're fucking dummies. Look at this guy. All right. This guy's fucking dumb. He's read all these things. He's dumb. All right. This guy's a fucking dummy. Okay. He knows how to write well. He knows how to use grammar. That's the majority of what he's compliant. Ooh, he's not smart. He's fucking dumb. Let's keep going though. It's not hundreds of thousands, hundreds or thousands. But I don't know if that's true. But. Well, I wouldn't. It's not even really sneaking in anymore, is it? No, you just kind of walk across. And I mean, there's even memes that are like, I'm going to go to Honduras and give up my American citizenship and come back across yeah. so everything will be paid for for me. You know, it's like, no, it's not sneaking across. It's, it's like, as they are saying, full scale invasion. Um, by the way, like once you get here, you had to find a job and figure out how to work and, you know, what I mean, do all these type of things. Right. And you had to be able to be abused and treated like shit. Like you think your employer treats you bad now? Imagine if like you're an illegal. Imagine Imagine if like you're an illegal immigrant. Right. And you show up and you come in and you work for, you know, what I mean, like what slave wages, basically, 
you know what I mean, six, seven, eight, ten dollars a fucking hour every day doing like whatever nonsense work they make you do. And if you get uppity and like want to break, you want to bitch, they'll literally report you to fucking ice. Or they help. They can hit you with a fucking hammer and no one would care because you're not allowed to stay at work because you're not allowed to be here. This is this is the fucking problem with like the all these mentals. They're so fucking dumb. He's he's a fucking dummy. Well, it's just weird. It's weird that we've just kind of gone, well, well. We've always, uh, ag- I mean, there was always customs. There's always, you land, they check out your stuff, they look at your paperwork, they go through your passport, they ask you questions. Yeah. Why are you in this country? You know, and it's always been that way. Like, I, I was watching this video with the, you know who Dead Mouse is? Yeah. Dead Mouse, the mu- musician, um, the DJ. He was, uh, they, he was trying to come into the country to visit his friend. And uh, they said, no, you're coming into work. And he's like, no, no, I'm coming because he's famous. He yeah. works. Yeah. He's like, no, I get paperwork. And they, they kicked him out of the country for like seven years. Whoa. He should have just walked through. Yeah, right. He should have been, no, I'm been just fine. here to do whatever I want. But what a bizarre thing. If you're undocumented, if you are poor, and if you're going to do cheap labor, walk right in. But if you're a highly skilled, world-famous DJ, and you want to go visit a friend, we're concerned that you might actually be working there. Yeah, or like a uh, super pro tennis player who's going to go play in the U.S. Open, but no, maybe not, right? Well, that was the Vax. Thing. That was the Vax. That was the, by the way, Neil Young came back to Spotify. Yo, listen, bro. I love when Joe Rogan throws a little pot shot at you. Like, man, listen, bro. Like, yo, congratulations, homie. You back on Spotify. Bro, listen, like, I love it, bro. Like, get him, get him, homie, get him. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, <laughs> Neil. Yeah, well, th- that's good news. And his excuse was, he said that because all of the platforms are now allowing my disinformation. Oh. So that he was just go back on Spotify, too. Oh, good, yeah. Great to know you've got some ethics. Yeah, well, <laughs> everybody's doing it these days, disinformation. Um, but, yeah, I mean, th- there's a strategy. The reason the border is the way that it is is, th- well, there's a strategy. I don't know who's playing the strategy for sure, but the the Cloward Piven strategy, I'm sure you've heard of that. Somebody's got to have talked to you about the Cloward Piven. Can you explain it? Yeah, it's pretty simple. It, the idea is that you... Over, you take advantage of a system and the way that it's set up so that you overwhelm it. Uh, in particular, in this case, you're going to overwhelm self social services. You're going to overwhelm, you know, border enforcement. You're going to overwhelm whatever they're doing in the cities. You know, it's like tens of thousands of dollars per taxpayer or whatever per year going to dealing what they're calling the migrant crisis. So you try to overwhelm the system in order to basically collapse it so that you can create a crisis, and the crisis creates the excuse to bring in new policies. Oh, well, maybe what we need is, what do they call it, e-verify or something? So we need a digital system where we can track who everybody right. is, but then they get their digital system, and then you're off to the races. It, yeah. But, yeah, it's it, this is an old strategy, well-documented Um who do you think is implementing this strategy, and what are the conversations, do you think? Well, it's not possible to deny that the Biden administration is implementing it because, look, they went to <laughs> – they tried to tried to fight Texas on securing its own border to protect its own citizens. That blew up – what was it, end of January? Is that when they – it all blew up? Very recently. Okay, so let's explain what's actually going on, right? Important to understand. This is the boomers retiring, Right. Now, you see, like, the boomers have been, like, steadily retiring since 2010, right? You know, just as an in general thing. And then it spiked in 2020, and it's been going up ever to fuck since, okay? The cost of labor, right, um, immediately spiked up to a ridiculous level after 2021, 2022. I know in my neck of the woods, by my, like, where we live, um, you, you can get hired at McDonald's for $19 an hour at this point, right? The, uh, our convenience stores are, like, their standard pay is eighteen fifty an hour. Right, so get nothing misunderstood. The cost of labor has gone up exponentially, and this is this is uh, the economic cost index by industry, leisure, transport, retail. These are the three, right? These are your biggest service sector uh, areas, right? As a whole, um, this here is the drivers of higher service sector selling prices: uh, energy costs, raw material costs, labor costs, right? So I want you to also look at stronger demand. That that light green line. Look at the demand line. Right. The demand line isn't high. Right. And it's not spiking. But what is spiking is a labor cost and the raw material cost in particular. You did have a spike in energy cost in 2022. This is the Russian invasion. Right. But you notice, like, look where it has been and then look where it is in all these things. Right. 
like the raw material costs have gone down, but the labor costs are still exponentially above, right? Where they were, you know, I mean, fucking, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, right? As a whole. And so this is why it is that they're bringing in massive amounts of fucking it. Again, employment cost index, civilian workers compensation. Look, look, just, just look, right? And like, what is this downturn? They're bringing in massive amounts of immigrants, right? Opening up the fucking border. Why is this? Because the United States government, how they judge what they do, right? And the people in the government themselves who have been there forever, their entire ideology is GDP number go up, right? How do they judge how they're doing as government workers in their programs? It's by the GDP number going up. This is the problem with not having a real nation in the end of the day, because like you do not want the same thing that they do, right? They don't care that you're poor. They don't give a fuck about you. All right. At the end of the day, they don't fucking care. They don't give a shit how you are. All they fucking care about as an, as a thing, right, is literally that their programs are doing well and money is being made. How do corporations make money? All right. By the stock price. Simple. How are they judged? By their stock price. How do you make good stock price? Being able to expand fucking, you know, I mean, your consumer base. Right. Market share, market cap. You hear these things all the fucking time. What does it mean? It means how many people are you selling to? What percentage of the market do you own? Walmart has a massive market cap. Its stock always goes the fuck up. Its stock is fucking massively fucking wanted. Why? It makes 1% a fucking year. It doesn't make that much money. It's been negative here recently. These are the type of things that people really don't get. Right. In order to keep prices down, in order to continue to have market share, in order to continue to have these um, uh, the, 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 the ability to manufacture a lot of goods, right, to sell them. Right? I'm trying to think of what the hell it is. Uh, the economies of scale. Right. Like when you build one thing, right, you build your first widget, whatever it is. Right. You build one hammer. It, you try to build a hammer. Right. The first time. Thank you. You know, I mean, eight days. Right. To build a fucking hammer. Right. Now you build two hammers, you know what I'm saying? It'll take you less time, right? The second time, because now you have all that stuff already set up. It'll take you a day, right? Now, if you buy a machine that makes fucking hammers, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? You can make 10,000 hammers a fucking day, right? And these things are called economies of scale, right? It keeps goods fucking super cheap for all of y'all. But the problem is you need people to be able to deliver these things, to sell these things, to stock these things, to fucking be able to move the things around, to be able to like, you know, put them in fucking packaging, put them in trucks, all these things, right? And when the cost of that goes up, Right. All of a sudden you have to offset those prices. That's where most of this inflation is actually fucking coming from. Right. How do you address that? By bringing in more workers to bring down the cost of fucking labor. The government isn't evil. The government <laughs> wants to be able to stay in charge. Right. 52 percent of the electorate are women. 80 percent of consumers are women. Important to understand. All right. So what affects them? The cost of goods. When the fucking cost of goods go up, they don't have power anymore. Very basic. It's a very simple thing. Right. They're not standing here trying to ruin the fucking country. They're trying to stay in power. Number one. And then number two, they're trying to sit here and be able to continue to have the economy run and kick the can down the road. They don't care that you can't afford a fucking house. <clears throat> they can, right? Because they can live anywhere. They don't care that their parents can't afford a fucking house. W what do you hear all the time when libertarians say, oh, you know, fucking what, you can't afford a house? Well, get good, scrub. You should have went to school. You should have did this, learn to code, blah, blah, blah. They, do this. they say the same thing that the neoliberals did, right? Move, move to Texas, man. It's doing well. Th these are the things that you always hear. This is the American ideal because we don't care about each other because we're not an actual nation of people. This is important shit. This is why guys like James Lindsay, look at him, bro. Listen, like, have you ever actually taken a look at this fucking guy, right? Like, real shit. Look at him. Look. Look at his fucking face. Look at this guy's face. Look at it. Look how dumb it looks. Right? Look how dumb his face looks. <laughs> Like, real shit, look how dumb his fucking face looks. Look at it. Look how dumb he looks. He's a dummy. This guy's fucking dumb. I don't know why y'all are listening to him. I don't know why anyone listens to anything he says. He's fucking stupid. 
we need to stop respecting people like this. All right? Because what he's doing is he's giving you catharsis. Real shit. He's telling you these people are Marxists. They're evil. They're not. They are trying to keep a system running that is functionally fucking broken. All right? And it's always been broken. The reason why it's broken is the same reason that you like it. It's because it can make you money. When you have an ability to stand here and have dynamic growth, you're going to have something that's extremely complicated, which also makes it extremely fragile. These are things you're not comprehending. And you go, well, you know, fucking if we stood here and went back to the gold standard, you're never going to be able to have your children afford a house. Everything would collapse tomorrow. You don't understand how any of this works. These libertarians, pie in the sky, fucking nonsensical, fucking utopian ideas are fucking dumb. This guy's fucking dumb. And everything that he says is fucking dumb. Stop respecting him. Y'all look, I'm Tom Pease with Pinoy News. If y'all enjoy this content, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe, man. I'll drop some more shit for you later. I'm out.